The flyway security teams, we protect the aircraft and the crew in austere environments. So when we take the aircraft out, it's our job to make sure nobody gets on the flight deck and messes with the pilots or even gets onto the aircraft to mess with the aircraft itself. And we uh, basically get off and set up a 360 security. 360 meaning like, we always have contact with each other. We're watching each other, we're watching each other's backs and um, we're just scanning for threats constantly until we're called in. Uh, kind of looking at where our friendly forces are, the other U.S. forces. Uh, a lot of the times we're looking for anything that could be advantageous for the bad guy, so like towers that are unoccupied, stuff like that. Uh, and then we pay special attention to those areas, relay it to the pilot if there's anything that looks like a risk. A lot of the times the, uh, the stuff that they're putting on the aircraft or taking off while we're doing security is going to be in boxes and crates and uh, usually you won't know for sure what it is, and I, I don't really pay attention to what it is because that's, that's not part of my job. A lot of the job is just, is just waiting for something to happen, you know? But then when that something does happen, it's, that's the one second that can change everything. So when you react just right with that one second, you know, you can save a life, you can save yourself. So definitely there's been times where, you know, you react just right in that one second. You hear about people getting complacent, Neither one of us have that mindset where you can. Because when you think about it, the crew and that, and that asset that we have, they're solely reliable on us doing our job and catching threats as far out as possible. If the threat's close enough for the pilots or for the loadmasters to see, it's possibly too late. So we really have to have our heads on a swivel and be paying attention. Some of the interesting stuff that I've talked to my son about is uh, every time before I go on a mission, he makes sure he reminds me not to sleep on the airplane. That way if we crash, I'm awake and I'll notice. Even though I think I'd notice if we crashed. But I, I understand where he's coming from with it. You know, he's just trying to help, so.